Hey, John. I guess you've heard by now. Auto power off. Why the f Still some glitches to work out. Hello, John. By now you have received my message that we will no longer be communicating through any textual means. No more instant messaging, no more emailing. Only video blogging. And possibly phone calls. You can see my eye in my eye. Ah. Okay, just try to ignore that. There. You can't see it now, can you? Last night I sent you an email from a New Year's Eve party in Lake Tahoe. The email outlined our plans. Starting on January 1st, today, I will send you a video blog. Tomorrow, you will reply to that video blog. We will continue like this until the year is up. Ah. going to be good at this. Good morning, Hank. It's January 2nd, 2007. I just spent two hours and 13 minutes downloading your two minute and one second video, which can mean only one thing, that I'm at mom and dad's house, the last residence in the United States of America with dial-up internet. One of the crazy things about The Great Gatsby is there's always some debaucherous party going on and no one is ever having any fun. Like, everybody in that room just wants more money and more class and they want to, like, find a way to get a better life. Except for Tom Buchanan, who has what they all want. Except that Tom Buchanan is, like, an unbearable ass face. Tom I've never heard of this thing! Where did it come from? Why do we have a polar vortex all of a sudden? Okay, well, polar vortices are uh, cyclones of air that exist around the poles, both poles, and they're caused by the temperature being different at the equator than it is at the pole. Yeah, but today I want to talk about three much more dramatic and important examples of how our terrible political discourse is leading to awful policy making. But first I'm gonna go right over to the park. This is the bizarre state of intellectual property in the United States in four minutes. Uh